Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express delivering wow customer service. You know, behind every great player is very often a great coach. The question today is should the WTA eliminate or expand on-court coaching? Currently, the ladies get on-court coaching once per set or when their opponent takes a toilet break or breaks to change their clothes, and also during breaks when the extreme heat rule is invoked. However, coaching from the stands is a no-no. Last time, we made the case for on-court coaching. Today, we make the case against it. So here are three reasons why on-court coaching is a bust and should be banned. Number one, it betrays the equality women have fought so hard to establish, and it's inherently unfair. Women players successfully earned equal prize money at majors and some tournaments like Miami. Yet the WTA creates a rules inequity clinging to on-court coaching while the ATP does not allow it. It also violates one of the exemplary traditions of tennis. It is one of the few sports where the athlete is both the player and the coach challenged physically and mentally. By permitting coaching, the WTA diminishes players into hitters and not thinkers capable of creating their own solutions. Then there's the economics at work. The on-court coaching rule is unfair because top 10 players who make a lot of money can afford to pay coaches, whereas many lower ranked players can't. This widens the gap between the elites and the younger players, tilting the competitive balance toward the high earners. Number two, let's be honest. For all the talk about entertainment value, with some exceptions, on-court coaching, frankly, isn't that entertaining. Coaches have about a minute to get their message across, so many times they speak very quickly. And in some cases, like Caroline Mosniaki, who's coached by her dad, she doesn't talk at all. And in worst case scenarios, it seems like an invasion of privacy. Former number one, Lindsay Davenport, who coaches Madison Keys, said on the Tennis Channel that she feels uncomfortable watching some of the emotional exchanges between, for example, Garbina Muguruza and coach Sam Sumick, which have featured F-bombs, taunts, and even tears. She says in theory it all sounds great. You know, you go out there, you help them with tactics, but she thinks more often than not, we see personal moments that we really have no business being part of. She says it's kind of turning into a bit of a circus. Consider coaches and players using a language the viewers don't understand, or when the coaches muffle the microphones. What exactly is the viewer really gaining? Number three, it dumbs down tennis and makes strong women appear fragile. Tennis Channel analyst Mary Carrillo says, combine the fact that men don't need on-court coaching with the fact that coaches the women call out are often men and it makes the women look weak. On-court coaching makes some of the women's top champions appear as if they can't problem solve without some guy coming out onto the court to hold their hand and walk them through it. Independent thinking, self-reliance, problem solving, and mental toughness are all qualities experienced champions have. And frankly, these are the qualities women's tennis should strive to instill in the players and the fans. Yet the WTA violates these virtues with its on-court coaching role. Patrick Moritoglu, Serena Williams coach, told Tennis Now that he thinks on-court coaching has a positive short-term effect but a negative long-term effect on the sport because players use the coaches as a crutch to provide solutions when the going gets tough. So, tennis is a physical sport. It's also a very mental sport. Eliminate on-court coaching and empower players to make their own tactical decisions. Okay, now we've presented both sides of the argument and it's your turn. Should the WTA expand on-court coaching or eliminate it? Or do you think the rule is fine just as it is? Let us know in the comments section below. That's the news for now. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.